After many patches and changes and bug fixes, it can be super confusing to know how headliners work and how they appear in your shops. So this video is meant to be short and straight to the point so you guys can refer to the four rules I'm going to describe and never be confused again. I've also written a cheat sheet version on Tactor so it might be easier for you to remember or to memorize them or to check them in game in case you have a doubt. The link is in the description and it's completely free and if you put a like on the guide, it helps you quite a lot. Tactor is also the sponsor of this channel and I I write many guides on it so don't hesitate to check them from time to time. Before we get into the most important headliner rules, it is important to talk about the general rules and I'm sure most of you know them already but it's important to have everyone on the same page. So here are the rules. If you don't own a headliner, you'll be offered a headliner at every shop and if you own a headliner, you will have one offered every four shops. It's pretty simple and from now on we will call these specific shops that include a headliner as headliner shop. Then obviously if you buy a headliner, it takes three years units from the pool of champions. It cannot make sense, but it's best to make sure that everyone knows it. And then if you have not enough units in the pool, you can't be offered a headliner. This happens quite often around 4 cast and 5 cast champions. If for instance everyone plays Ezreal, there's a chance that there is not enough Ezreal left in the pool for you if you wanted to have him as well. So he must have at least 3 Ezreal in the pool if you want to have a chance to have Ezreal. Okay, now we can talk about the hidden rules or the rules that are not not really shown anywhere unless you follow TFT quite closely. These rules have been quite changed with the recent patches and can be confusing. So this is how is the first rule. The first rule concerns your ability to find 4 cost or 5 cost headliners. If you already own more than 4 copies of a 4 cost unit, you cannot find its headliner. And if you already own more than 3 copies of a 5 cost unit, you can't find its headliner. If you play set 10 since the beginning, you can completely forget about the former role that counted the number of units from all the players before showing any headliners. This was super confusing, this was super frustrating for the players, so they simply removed it and made it much simpler with the rule I just said before. The rule number two is as follows. When you see a headliner, it won't show the same plus one trait you saw as the last time you saw that headliner. This rule is probably the most important rule to know because if you want to force a specific headliner, especially when you're playing a reward comp, you must use it if you want to have the correct plus one trait. I will give you two examples. In this game, I wanted to play Seraphine Reward with 7 KDA, but unfortunately, I hit Seraphine Spell Reaver instead. I decided to play with Spell Reaver during stage 3, so I didn't need to roll too deep to find the perfect Seraphine headliner. Then during stage 4, I decided to sell my headliner and roll to find the next Seraphine headliner that would automatically be KDA thanks to this roll. Since I was guaranteed to hit Seraphine KDA, I was able to play around it and keeping tons of gold and health by not spending everything during stage 3 with the risk of not hitting Seraphine KDA specifically. Now let's say you want to play Yone Crowd Diver, but the first one you find is Hard Steel. Yone is a little bit different because he has 3 synergies. So since this rule says you cannot have Yone Hard Steel if you already have Yone Hard Steel just before, you have the chance between Edge Lord and Crowd Diver for the next Yone you will find. But let's say you're kind of unlucky and the next unit you find is Edge Lord. It's still not Cry Diver. Then here you have two choices. Either you take it or you skip it. But if you skip it, the next unit will be either Crowd Diver, like you want to, but it can also be Hard Steel because the rule only applies to the former headliner. It doesn't take into account all the headliner before. So it means that whenever you play a reward comp about with a unit that has three traits, the best you can do is to have a 50-50% chance if you decide to skip the first trait. The rule number three is as follows. If you pass a champion, you won't see the champion again for seven, 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 five or four headliner shops. This one is quite easy to understand because if you pass a headliner that is one cost, two cost or three cost, it means that you can't see it again before seven headliner shops. If you skip a four cost unit, you can't see it again for five headliner shops. And if it's a five cost unit, you won't get to see it again before four headliner shops. It's really important to notice here that normal shops don't count and we need to count only shops that include headliners. So let's talk about the Seraphine reward example again. The rule is the reason why I couldn't roll more during stage 3 2 to force Seraphine KDA at this moment. Because this rule exists and forced me to spend 14 mode gold in shops with zero chance of getting Seraphine inside. And I prefer to rebuild my economy so I could afford such a massive loss later when I have 50 gold and I'm level 7. 
The rule number four is the newest one. So here how it is. If you pass on a headliner trait, you won't see that trait highlighted again for four headliner offerings. So here's how it works. Let's say you are level seven and you are rolling to find specifically Vex as your headliner. But the shop offers you Amumu Emo. It means that for four headliner shops, you cannot find plus one Emo. So it will be impossible to find Vex Emo. But it doesn't prevent you from finding Vex execution. In fact, in the example I'm showing, the game gave me Vex Headliner 3 shops after Amumu Emo. And because of this rule, I was forced to have Vex Executioners. It's also important to notice that now it's impossible to affect any of the rule by selling and buying another headliner because patch 14.2 removed the ability to reset the headline account. So guys, there's no point in trying to buy and sell headliners to try to reset the account. You might just lose money by doing so. I hope this video helps you clear any potential misunderstandings about headliners and can help you to force or optimize your way to to get the headliners that you need and that you want. However, as you understood, it can be extremely expensive to force specific headliner because of these rules. And do you know what can make you have all the headliners you want accurately? It's called money. And if you have infinite money, you will always find the perfect headliner that you want. And in this video I'm showing here with my finger, I can teach you exactly how to optimize your economy so you can always have much more gold than your opponents. And since you have more gold than your opponents, you are not playing gambling anymore more, you are going to find the units while they are gambling. Until next video, see you at the top of the ladder.